ट्रिबल गुड मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स गो हेड एंड स्टार्ट आर क्लास टूडे वॉट आर वी डन विथ टिल नाउ एवरी वन वी आर डन विथ सेक्शन नंबर सेवन इन सेक्शन नंबर सेवन सेक्शन नंबर सेवन वन ए आई वॉन्ट एवरी वन टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द क्लास इट्स नॉट माई रिविजन इट्स योर रिविजन सेक्शन नंबर सेवन वन ए ऑल फॉर्म्स फॉर ए कंसिडरेशन इन द कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज supply section number 71 a a then person other than individual doing an activity or transaction with the members or members doing an activity for them will be for a consideration will be considered as supply the next one over here is section number 71 b importation of service for a consideration business non business both will be considered as business purpose rcf here exemption section number 71c went ahead and told schedule 1 ka four activities without consideration also will be considered as supply permanent transfer of business asset where itc has been availed on such asset supply between related person or distinct person third principal and agent or agent to principal what is the agent doing agent is issuing the invoice in his name or agent is buying in his name and the last one is importation of service from related person or own establishment for the in the course or furtherance of business and without consideration also will be considered as supply then everyone next the next one over here we went ahead and learned that if something is falling in supply then you have to see section number 71a whether it is supply of goods or supply of service they told please refer schedule to and we had how many paragraphs over here six paragraphs and everyone now listen to me carefully now government says that even though even though something might be supply but our intention to collect gst is not there so we will go ahead and tell them that it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service so what happens is goods and service ka definition say something is thrown out what is thrown out money and securities if it something is money or securities it is neither goods it is neither goods nor service then we told if something is goods and service we will have to go ahead and see whether it is following the definition of supply and when we see the definition of supply supply may we learn section number 71 may if you are calling it will be a supply then we'll see 71a to see supply of goods or supply of service then we'll move to section number 72 if something is falling in section number 72 then it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service are you guys able to understand this means it will not be a supply only if it is not a supply gst will come or not come so on this item gst will not come this too we don't have to see supply also it is not even goods or service but then government told something might be goods but then still government has the power to throw it out by saying it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service and now we are going to learn about what are the things which are neither supply of goods nor supply of service section number 72 excludes things and says that it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service and when you learn section number 72 section number 72 has section number 72a and section number 72b so first let's learn section number 72a section number 72a says there are some activities which we have told in schedule 3 we have told in schedule 3 and those six activities if you do it will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service so we are going to now learn which schedule everyone schedule 3 and schedule 3 may actually there are eight activities but at intermediate level they have told you have to learn only six we will be learning the six activities to identify that it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service means those are neither supply of goods nor supply of service number activities or transaction which are specified in schedule 2 3 number 1 is services by an employee to the employer in the course or in relation to 
employment everyone tell me one thing for an example i am an employee you are an i am an employer you are an employee i am an employer you are an employee does the employee give services to the employer yes or no everyone does the employee give services to the employer is he doing an activity is he doing for a consideration is he trying to earn money so it means he is doing that that is his business to to work for me yes or no everyone now when i pay him money it means it's an activity for a consideration and it's in the course of his business whenever a person is working for someone he is trying to earn money are you guys able to understand so it means have you seen every month employee giving a bill to the employer hey 50000 plus gst why no he is doing an activity he is doing for a consideration he is doing in the it is he is trying to earn money in gst the definition of business is when you are trying to earn money is it supply yes but still they told that sir whenever employee is giving services to the employer and earning salary it will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service and gst will not come so sir supposingly i am an employee and there is an employer i give him services and for the services he gives me salary he gives me rent free accommodation he gives me perquisites theek hai remember always whenever services are given by an employee to employer an employer pays anything which is as per the employment letter which is as per the employment letter then baba which is in the course of employment then baba it is this service is neither supply of goods nor supply of service then baba tell me one thing will the employee collect any gst on this will the employee collect any gst no that's all they have told over here see services by an employee to the employer will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service it can be in the course or in relation to the employment it has to be in the course or in relation to employment then it will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service are we clear everyone can we go ahead now you tell me one thing there is a circular there is a circular which says perquisites provided in terms of contractual agreement between employer and employee there will be no gst tell me one thing everyone i am an employee and i have an employer theek hai i give services and for the services what will the employer do he will give me salary rent free accommodation correct no he will give me perquisites like driver car to use etc these services will be what everyone this is what neither supply of goods nor supply of do you guys agree with me for an example for an example employer is giving me perquisites is perquisites they are in my employment letter yes if it is as per my employment then whatever i am receiving there will be no gst whatever services i am giving and for that employer is giving me perquisites there will be no gst my question to you guys is other than employment letter if supposingly employer gives any gift to the employee might be any other thing he told okay wow you have done a very good job i will give you a mobile phone my question is when employer gives any other perquisites any other thing to the employee will it come under gst thing up to 50000 also up to 50000 also why will employer give to the employee anything else other than employment letter might be as gift he gave then also you have to see it is given for the services given by employee that employer is giving him baba no one gives anyone anything free but still employee because he is giving service might be outside the employment letter i became very happy and i told take one mobile phone mobile phone is worth 30000 rupees will gst come on this will there be any gst why up to 50000 there is no gst do you guys agree with me so if employer gives a gift to the employee up to 50000 rupees it is no gst that gift when i bought if there is no gst will i get any input tax credit no 
I bought a gift and gave to my employee worth sixty thousand rupees. The gift ka value is how much? Sixty thousand. Will it be a supply? Will I get GST credit? Is my point clear to all? Remember one thing, everyone. If <coughs> any services are given by an employee to the employer in the course or in relation to employment, means it is written in the employment letter, then it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Now, whenever perquisites ka thing come that employer is giving anything to the employee, you have to see if any perks are given to the employee, perquisites. And these perquisites are as per the employment, are in the course or in the course of employment. In the course of then, Baba, this perquisites, whatever is the value, will GST come? Will GST come? No, there is no GST. But if it is outside, employment that employer gave some gift perquisites etc then you have to see the value if the value is greater than okay if the value is less than or equal to fifty thousand then gst will not come but if the value is greater than fifty thousand then gst will do you guys agree with me people can you talk everyone people everyone straight ah you have to talk can we go ahead everyone See, if you don't talk now, I will think that, okay, people are confused. Did you guys get it, everyone? Can we go ahead? When you tell me, yes, sir, I will go ahead. That, okay, understood. Can we go ahead, everyone? Chalo, please come back now. So, this circular is over here. This circular is there in your textbook also. I will show you once. See, whether various perquisites by the employer to the employee in terms of contractual agreement between employer and employee are liable for GST. It's in page number 2.15. You don't have to go. You can listen, everyone. Schedule 3 provides that services by employee to employer in the course or in relation to employment will not be considered a supply of goods or service. Hence, GST will not be applicable on the services rendered by employee to employer and if they are in the course of employment. Any perquisite by employer to employee in the contractual agreement entered between employer and employee in terms of service provided by employee to the employer in relation to his employment. It follows therefrom that perquisite provided by employer to employee in terms of contractual agreement between the empl employer and the employee will not be subject to when it is provided in terms of the contract between the employer and employee. Are we clear? Perquisites provided by employer to employee in terms of contractual agreement entered. What is a contractual agreement? When you become my employee, I will give you a contract saying this, 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 this things I will give you. Government says, Ramesh, you pay anything in the course of employment, there will be no GST. But supposingly, it is not written in the agreement, but you give anything else to the employee, you have to see. If the value is more than 50,000, you have to pay GST. You have to see the value of the gift. Sir, how to find out the value? That is valuation rule. If you, the value is more than 50,000 of the gift, then you have to pay GST and you will get input tax credit also. But if the value is less than or up to 50, people, then GST will not come. Will I get input? No. Are we clear, everyone? People. Yes. Chalo. Now, <clears throat> second one over here is services by court or tribunal established under law. People over here now. Do you remember? Who is this, everyone? Where is Rahul today? Oh, no. Sorry, I forgot your name. No. Okay. Your name? No problem, Surya. Don't feel bad. I will not take. Huh. Abhishek. Abhishek, can I take your example? You will feel bad? Okay. Baba, it has become so difficult nowadays. Students feel bad when you take their example. Okay. Baba, this is who? Abhishek. Okay, everyone. Now, this is Abhishek's wife. Okay, everyone. This is Abhishek's 
Why? This is Abhishek. What is happening to Abhishek, everyone? He is very scared. He is very scared. Why, Baba? Because Abhishek's wife has one knife in, his, in her hand and every day she is carrying him. So he told, I will go to the court. And he told, court, go. Court, I want justice. I want divorce with my wife. Okay, everyone. Now you tell me one thing. Court will give a service. What is the service? Justice. For him, for that, he has to pay court ka fees. Tell me one thing. If court ka fees may they start collecting GST, will court ka fees become expensive? Yes. On the service, if GST comes, will the court ka fees become expensive? And what will he say? Sir, no problem. Let her kill me only. I don't have money. Are you guys able to understand? So government went ahead and told, whenever any court or tribunal which is established under law. What do you mean by law, everyone? Baba, court is formed under a law. Or tribunal which is formed under the law. If they are giving a service to any person and receiving any fees, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. Yes. Because justice should be GST free. If justice becomes expensive, people will not be able to afford it. Now, supposingly, there is one person he went to the court and told, sir, there is one person, I bought this mobile phone and this mobile phone was not good. I am a consumer. And he went to Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission, Consumer Court, supposedly. He went to a Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission. These are commissions which are set up where consumers can go and say what is the problem they are having. Are we clear? So, supposedly a consumer went to the Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission and he told, sir, I want justice. The supplier sold me a bad product. So, Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission will give him justice. Yes or no, everyone? And he has to pay fees. Don't you think if justice service may they start charging GST, justice will become expensive? So, they went ahead and told justice should be GST free. Whenever Consumer Dispute Redressal Commissions, CDRCs, Consumer Dispute what is the CDRC, everyone? Consumer Dispute Redressal. Wait one minute. Have I deleted this? People's Consumer Dispute Redressal Commissions. What are these CDRCs, everyone? CDRCs. What is CDRC, everyone? Consumer Dispute Redressal. These are also like court only. And court going ahead and giving services to the consumer and taking fees. There will be no GST on the justice ka service. Are we clear, everyone? CDRCs. Can we go ahead, everyone? They are like, they are not exactly court, but they are like court only. They are also giving justice. Their service also, government clarified. It will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Next. CDRCs are like tribunal. Baba, what is a tribunal? Tribunal is like a court. Tribunal is not exactly a court. It's a semi-judicial body. It's not a court, but it is like a court only. So, if there is a tribunal or a court or a CDRC, Giving services to the people and taking any fees, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. Next, no fees on no GST on any fees or any penalty. Supposingly, this can this person says they charge a penalty. Baba, whatever it is, whether they charge any fees, whether they charge any penalty, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. Next. Tell me one thing. All these MLAs, MPs, MLAs, you know everyone, MPs, you know, member of parliament, sir, member of legislative, assembly, MLA, all these people are giving their services. Yes or no, everyone? They are going ahead and giving their services for which they are given salary. But actually, it is not salary. The name is salary, but they are going ahead and giving their services to the government. And government said they are getting what? Salary. It is actually not their salary. Are they employees of anyone? No. 
but the name is salary. However, they are not an employee. So whenever MP, MLAs, they are giving their services to the government and from the government they are getting any money on that also they will be Baba, do you think MP, MLAs, pay GST you can charge? So they told their services, the MPs, MLAs when they are giving services and they are receiving every month money that is known as salary but they are not employee and employer. There is no employee and they are not employed. Do you think an MLA is an employee of the government? So MP, MLAs are not employees. Are you guys able to understand? Yes, everyone. And hence, they are going ahead and telling if an MP, MLA, MLC, all these people, when they are giving their services, supposingly, I'll say government over here, and government say they receive what? Salary. Remember one thing, they are not employee. They are not employees. And But the amount ka name is salary, but it is not actually they are telling their services also will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service. It means when they are collecting the money, they will not go ahead and collect any GST and pay GST to the government. It means MP, MLA's ka service, services performed by MPs, MLA, MLCs, etc. also will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Duties performed by constitutional post holder. What do you mean by constitutional post holder, everyone? Prime Minister, Prime Minister, President, Control and Auditor General, all these people, there are a lot of names which are there. All these people are working for the Constitution. Do you guys agree with me? They are giving their services to the Constitution and Prime Minister, President, etc. get a salary. Do you guys agree with me? But are they employees? Are they employees, everyone? They are not employees and there is no employer. They are just giving their services to the constitution. Do you think prime minister when he is giving service, he will make one bill, 1 lakh rupees plus GST. I will collect and prime minister is paying the GST. Do you think it will happen? In this scenario they are telling, when they are giving their services to the constitution and they are receiving a salary etc on that they will not go ahead and collect any gst because that service is neither supply of goods nor supply of are we clear everyone can i go ahead so they are telling over here duties performed by constitutional post holder who are the constitutional post holder everyone prime minister president controller and auditor general of india there are a lot of other people who are there long list is there but you can remember this much should be good enough can i go ahead everyone Next, duties performed by a chairperson, member or director, CMD, chairperson, member or director. Okay, tell me one thing, there is a chairperson of a body established by the government. Supposing there is a government ka body, government has set up one body. Now, in this government ka body, Supposing government has set up one governmental body saying this is government ka body. Okay, everyone. Now, if there is a chairperson, member or director who is an employee. If he is an employee, if a chairman is there and he is an employee and the body is an employer, then his services, he will go ahead and get what everyone? Then his service will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Do you guys agree with me? His service will be neither supply of goods nor supply of. Everyone agrees with me? But supposedly, in the same scenario, not everyone is an employee. Not everyone is an employee. And hence, sometimes what happens? The chairperson, members and directors are not employees. They are not employees. They work on a contract. But they don't work as a Employee might be a director is there. He's an independent director. He comes, works and goes. Now what they are telling is, if you are a chairman, member or director and you are not an employee, still if you are giving your services to a body, body which is set up by the government and government pays you a salary, you call it any amount, government pays you a consideration, then that is also neither supply of goods nor supply of Tell me one thing, if government is paying, if you are an employee, then which paragraph it will get covered? 
Paragraph number one. But if you are not an employee, then they are telling, see here everyone, duties performed by a chairperson, member or director, CMD of a body which is established by the government, then where he is not an employee, but because if he is an employee, then he will come in the first one. Then also his services will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service. But sir, if he is an employee, if he is not an employee, then, then if he is not an employee, third paragraph. Are we clear, everyone? Can you tell me what did I tell you till now? I told if there is an employee and he is giving services to the employer, then Baba, if it is as per the contract, then it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Can I go ahead, everyone? The second one over here is services by court or tribunal or a consumer dispute redressal commission. Their services are also neither supply of goods nor supply of service. The third one ka name I will give as government officials. Services by government official like MLA, MP, member of legislative council, etc. Okay, everyone. Or second one I will say if there is a constitutional post holder. Take everyone. The next one, which one I'll say? Chairman, member, or director of a body which is established by the. So, can I say all these people are like government people only? Are we clear, everyone? Can we go ahead? Next. Services of mortuary, burial, funeral, including transportation of the deceased. Baba mortuary is a place where a dead person is kept. Burial, Baba burial, burial ground, mein burial services are given. Funeral, funeral will be done. So what government is selling is, if a person has died, we'll go, let him go in peace, we will not charge again GST. Means Baba in burial services, burial services also nowadays they charge you 20, 30, 50,000 rupees. Now when they are charging you 50,000 and giving you burial services, in the burial ground, Baba 50,000 rupees pay, government is selling, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. It's okay. So, if the person is giving burial services and charging anything, mortuary may a person was kept for some time. Now, mortuary has given the services and collecting an amount. Mortuary has given a service to the dead person, but dead person can relative will pay. So, government is selling when you are asking the money, don't ask any GST. The person who has died, let him go in peace, we will not go ahead and charge any GST. Now, when the person has died, he will be transported from the hospital to the home, home to the burial ground or might be round round the city also they will take him or her, whoever. Correct or not? Tra any kind of transport. People, I am not joking. I am telling you seriously, you have to understand this. Any kind of transportation. Might be a person died, he was transported in a train, he was transported in a plane, he was transported through a helicopter, whatever it is any kind of transportation to a deceased whatever charges are taken they will not go ahead and collect any gst all the services by a person to a deceased person all the services mean mortuary burial funeral ka services mortuary ka services including transportation of a dead person there will be no gst that's all they are telling services by mortuary burial ground not all services I am telling services by whom? Mortuary ka service, burial ka service, funeral ka service, including transportation of the disease. Baba people, don't you think if, if I am going ahead and giving mortuary ka service, it's an activity for a consideration and it's my business to give mortuary service. It's a supply, but government told, don't charge GST. It is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. People, are we all clear till here? Fourth one, what did I tell you? Mortuary, burial, funeral, including transportation of deceased. Means the dead person ka deceased. Deceased. My spelling is very bad, everyone. In the childhood, no, I did not attend dictation class properly. Everyone over here now. <coughs> Sale of 
land people can you tell me land is goods or land is service land is goods or land is service government says ramesh when you sell land when you sell land land ka selling pe stamp duty will come do you guys agree with me so government says we don't want any gst so whenever you are selling a land land although is a service but government told when you sell land to someone you have to pay stamp duty are you have to go and pay stamp duty do you guys agree with me so government says when you are already paying stamp duty i don't want any gst it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service so if i am selling land it's a sale for a consideration and i am trying to earn money but government says ramesh please don't go ahead and charge any there will be no gst which i have to collect and pay not required are we clear everyone so sale of land is neither supply of goods nor supply of because stamp duty comes then they are telling sale of completed building is also neither supply of goods nor supply of service let's understand what do you mean by a completed building people over here now <coughs> let's understand what do you mean by a completed building people listen when do you call a building to be complete when do you call a building to be complete when the completion certificate is received do you guys agree with me when the completion certificate is do you guys agree with me tell me one thing supposingly supposingly sir your name no you only too confusing now i'll forget again bharat ha ah, bharat theek hai everyone we will take bharat ka example now okay baba bharat theek listen everyone listen listen sir supposingly bharat is there bharat is there hey, you make me forget example only <coughs> supposingly bharat is there i told bharat can you make a building for me he told sir okay i will make the building for you tell me one thing what is the service bharat is giving me construction service do you guys agree with me he is giving me a service for which he will charge me an amount he will charge me gst do you guys agree with me what is construction everyone what is construction i will give you money you will make the building for me is construction a service they have told simple over here construction of a complex or building for anyone is a supply of if i go ahead and do construction for you of a building complex anything for you and you are paying me money i am giving you construction and construction is a supply of service okay. tell me one thing if i have this building with me which is completely done and i am selling the building am i giving you construction service or i am selling you a completed building completed. when you sell a completed building government says sale of completed building pay when you will go to register the building stamp duty will come do you guys agree with me so when stamp duty will come gst will not come are we clear everyone but here tell me one thing for an example if i draw one line over here and say this building is completed over here you this building got completed over here one apartment was getting constructed apartment got constructed completely and now the apartment ka flats are being sold now this is the date of completion okay everyone and now the builder is selling the flats he sold the flat over here tell me is he selling completed building ka flats yes everyone is he selling completed flats that time only stamp duty will come gst will not come do you guys agree with me now sir but builders don't do this builders don't do this what builders do they tell sir give us little money on the starting they will take little money from you then they will take 5 lakh from you then they will take another 10 lakh from you then they will take another 20 lakh from you and then they will take the remaining supposingly you bought a flat for 1 crore rupees okay everyone what do builders do they tell sir in the beginning you have to pay 1 lakh 
Once our first floor is ready, you have to pay 9 lakh. Once our second floor is ready, you have to pay us another 10 lakh. Third floor is ready, you have to pay 30 lakh, 40 lakh paid. When the building is complete, you have to pay us remaining 60 lakh and we'll give you a flat. Do you guys agree with me? This happens when you go to book an apartment. Tell me one thing. What is the builder doing? He is taking money from you. Constructing. Taking money and constructing. He is selling you the completed building or completed flat. Or he is giving you construction service. Sure everyone. He is giving you construction. So tell me one thing. Supposingly. Everyone over here. I bought an apartment. I paid 1 lakh. I paid then 10 lakh. Okay. I paid 9 lakh, 10 lakh com complete. Another 10 lakh, 20 lakh gone. Another 30 lakh. The building got completed and I paid another 50 lakh. My question to you guys is everyone listen carefully. What is the builder doing? Here he received the completion certificate. The building got government says Ramesh certificate. Ramesh. People tell me one thing. In this scenario, what has the builder done for me? Construction or sale of completed building? Why? He took little money from me. He made the building little. He took money from me. He made the building little. He took money from me. He made the building little. It means he is doing what everyone for me? Construction. He is giving me a supply of service. Are you guys able to understand? So government says, Ramesh, if a builder, this is the completion date, no? If he takes one rupee also before completion certificate, it means he has given you construction. It means he has given you construction, which is a supply of service. Are we clear, everyone? And the whole amount, you know, the builder will charge GST also. And when he registers the flat in your name, he will charge stamp duty also will come. Government will charge stamp duty also. So now I will ask you one thing. This is my completion certificate ka date. The day building was completed. Completion certificate means you have to go and obtain a completion certificate saying your building is complete from your local authority. The local BBM, our Bangalore, we have BBMP. Like that, your local authority will give a certificate saying your building is complete. For an example, the builder got the completion certificate and now you went and bought a flat for 1 crore rupees. My question is, will he charge you GST? People, please be louder now so that I can know that you understood. Yes or no, everyone? What will he do? Only when you are registering, stamp duty will come. GST will not come. This is the completion certificate date. The builder charged you 50 lakh rupees over here and 50 lakh rupees after completion. You booked the flat, he charged you 50 lakh. Later, he charged you 50 lakh. Has he given you construction service or he has sold you a completed building? He has given me a construction. He has given me construction service. And you know what? The whole flat ka sale pay, total amount pay. GST will also come. Plus, when you are registering the flat in your name, stamp duty also has to be paid. Can I go ahead, everyone? I'll give you one more example. People tell me one thing. I bought a flat. The completion certificate date is this. I paid, paid the complete one crore here only. Building is yet to be completed. Will the builder charge me GST? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Can I go ahead? When you register the flat later, stamp duty will come. Are we clear, everyone? Okay. <coughs> People, you tell me now. This is the completion certificate date. Builder charge me 1 lakh here, 9 lakh here, 10 lakh here, 20 lakh here. Later, he charged me 50 lakh. What will happen? It, it is what? Construction? Stamp duty will come. Will he also charge me GST? He has given me construction service for which he will charge me. Anyone any doubt with this? Okay. This is the completion certificate date. Builder charged me complete one crore here only. He did not charge me anything before completing. So if I am selling a flat which is completed, I am selling a building which is completed, will I charge GST or only stamp duty will come? I have not given you any service. I am selling you a completed building and sale of completed building is neither supply of goods nor supply of. And that's what they are telling. Sir, here GST will not come. Only stamp duty will come. Because construction is a service. Sale of completed building is not a service. 
Are we clear, everyone? My question to you guys now. Now I'll tell you one thing. In construction industries, there are two things. One is a first occupancy and one is a completion certificate. One is a first occupancy and one is a completion certificate. First occupancy means, first occupancy means, for an example, I'll tell, for ease of understanding, first occupancy as per RERA, Real Estate Regulation Act, it says that whenever you are promised occupancy to a person, you have to give the occupancy of the flat. Now, completion certificate can get delayed, might be you went to the local authority, they are delaying giving the completion certificate, but you gave the occupancy of the flat. You tell me one thing, you gave occupancy, means you told people you can occupy the flat, it means, is the flat completed? If I tell you that you can come and occupy the flat, it means the flat is complete. Do you guys agree with me? So, government says, Ramesh, there are two dates you have to see. One is first occupancy, one is completion certificate. Whichever is earlier, that day it will be deemed that the flat is complete. That day it will be deemed that the flat is complete. Now, my question to you guys, if I receive the complete 1 crore here, will GST come? Will GST come? No. Why? Because it is deemed that the flat is complete, GST will not come, stamp duty will come. That's all. I am telling you, what if this example may, I would have written this here. Same. Why? Because your cutoff date is this one. Chalo, I will ask you once again. Here, this is the completion certificate. This is the first occupancy. Can you tell me which is earlier? Here, it will be deemed that the building is complete. I gave rupees 10 over here. And I gave the, okay, rupees 1 lakh I gave you over here. Rupees 99 lakh I gave over here. Can you tell me, will GST come or not? Yes. If you give 1 rupee also before completion, it means they will assume that the builder has given you construction services and the entire contract will become what construction ka contract and you will be liable to pay gst also and stamp duty at the time of registering also is my point clear to all i will ask you now people this is the completion certificate this is the first occupancy which is your cutoff okay i gave 1 crore rupees for the flat here only. GST will come. GST will come. Okay. This is the first occupancy certificate date. This is the completion certificate date. Actually, first occupancy was also. And this is the completion certificate. First occupancy and completion certificate. Can you tell me which is your cutoff? I gave 10 lakh here. 20 lakh here and 70 lakh over here. Can you tell me GST will come on the entire amount? It is what construction service and you know what once it is construction service entire amount we have to pay GST also plus stamp duty at the time of registering the flat also. I will ask you one more thing everyone. This is First occupancy, this is the completion certificate, which is earlier. I paid complete 1 crore here. Will GST come? Will GST come? No. Yes or no? No. What is this? This is sale of completed, completed building, which is basically sale of completed flat and GST will not come. Only stamp duty. Baba, you know these real estate builders are there, RMZ. Prestige developer, when they make the building, if they take any advance from you before the completion of the building, on the entire contract when they give you, you no, know, every amount which you pay, they will collect GST from you and give to the government. Are you guys able to understand? But if supposingly prestige ka apartment is done, prestige group ka apart prestige group is a group which makes apartment. They made apartment, apartment is ready. Now you went and bought a flat for one crore rupees directly over there. They did not go ahead. Did they give you construction service or they sold you a completed building? They will not charge you any GST. But if they take money from you, build detail. Take money, build detail. It means they are giving you construction. Is my point clear? Now listen. See. Sale of land and completed building is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. But here you should link what? 
Construction of complex and building means consideration if it is received before completion certificate or FOA's first occupancy, whichever is earlier, then it will become what? Construction and construction is a supply of. Is my point clear? Please see these two and tell me if you are clear. Can we go ahead, everyone? Please see and tell me. Are we done everyone? People, I did not give time to talk. I told, are we clear with this? Chalo. Next, tell me one thing. Nowadays, no? People, listen. Supposingly, I have a land over here. There is a, there is a real estate developer. He bought a land. I sold the land to another person. People, tell me one thing. Sale of land, will GST come? If I sell the land to someone, will GST come? Why? Because sale of land is? And I collected 1 crore. Will GST come? Because sale of land is neither supply of goods. Now, you know what nowadays real estate developers do? They buy land. On the land, we will have like this mountain type, stones will be there, correct? Some up and down will be there. So they will call one. What is this? No, no, no. I am drawing something new today. Are, what is this everyone? Road? Roller. They will do the roller on this. Correct or not everyone? Make it. Make it flat. They will make it flat. Then they will build road in between. And they will cut the plots into small, small size. And then they will say, sir, if you want, you can buy one plot. Do you guys agree with me? Correct? So I'll draw over here. Now, supposingly one builder... He did what? He did labeling of the land, labeled the land, built road over here, made small, small plots and he told if anyone wants, they can buy a plot of land. Are we clear everyone? For an example, your name? Kamlesh. Kamlesh. Kamlesh went, this is Kamlesh and builder went ahead and sold him a land copies, which is a labeled land. My question over here, people ask, sir. Selling of labeled land, which we did full labeling, means we did not build anything. We did the labeling of the land. We put pipelines. They will put pipelines below. You know, you can build your home over here. Pipelines are already there down. Seaways pipeline, water pipeline, they will put and they will give you the land. Government went ahead and told, listen, sale of developed land is also a sale of land only. When you are selling a land, which you have done labeling, you have put the roads over here. You have put some trees over here and you are selling the land. Sale of land or sale of labor land is also same. You understood what is labor land everyone? Which you have put a road roller and you have done labeling and you have sold it. That is also a sale of land only. And that is also neither supply of goods nor supply of service. And you should not charge any. Is my point clear? This circular government went ahead and gave over here. See. Whether GST is applicable on land after leveling, laying of drainage lines, etc. Did you guys understand this point? What is happening over here? In this land, they have laid what everyone? Drainage pipeline. They have done the labeling of the land so that it becomes equal. So they are telling over here. As per serial number 5 of schedule 3 of the CGST Act, sale of land is neither supply of goods nor supply of service and do not attract. GST. Land may be sold either as it is or after some development such as labeling, lying down of drainage line, water line, electricity line. It is clarified that sale of developed land is also sale of land and sir, it will be covered in schedule 3 and hence do not attract GST. People tell me one thing. I am the builder, not bodybuilder, a real estate builder. Okay, what did I do? I went ahead and bought a land. I got the labeling done of the land. Means I told one person, this person had a road roller. Okay, everyone. This person told, sir, okay, 
I will come and do the labeling. I told one person, hey, can you come and put the pipelines here? The water ka pipeline, sewage ka pipeline, etc. Can you put it? My question to you guys, everyone listen. When I will sell the land to you, that is a sale of land. And it is neither supply of goods nor supply of. Even if it is labeled land also, I am selling you a plot of land also, I will not charge you any. But tell me one thing, when these people gave me service, these people gave me road roller ka service, this person did the pipeline, when he is giving me a service, is that sale of land or will GST come on that? Whatever services I will take, on that GST will be there. When I sell the land, there is no GST. Do you guys agree with me? See over here. It says over here, it may be noted that any service provided for the development of land, like labeling, laying of pipeline, received by the developer. I have received the service. Will you charge me GST? For giving me the service, will you charge me GST? But when I am selling, will I charge GST? So any services taken, GST will be applicable. Can I go ahead everyone? Everyone over here. So this you have to remember. Whenever one real estate developer is there, he want, he develops one land. He develops a land. He has got pipelines laid over here. And he will sell plot of land. Then when he is selling you the land, sale of developed land is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. When he will go ahead and collect, will he collect GST from you? No. But tell me one thing, when other people are giving him services, on the other people's ka services, will GST come everyone? What services people are giving? Laying of drainage pipeline, getting road roller, all those services when people are giving, they will charge me GST, but I can't go ahead and charge any because mine is a my is not a supply only. But when you are giving service, is it a supply? Is my point clear to all? Can I go ahead, everyone? People over here now. Do you remember actionable claim, everyone? Do you remember actionable claim? What is actionable claim? I have a right to receive arrears of my arrears of rent. I have a right to receive insurance, lottery, betting, gambling. They went ahead and told all actionable claims are goods. But if any person, supposingly I have a right to receive insurance claim. Correct? But this actionable claim which is there, no? This actionable claim which is there is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. There will be no GST. It will never come under GST. Are we clear everyone? What they are telling is there will be no GST on all the actionable claims. But except specified acts you know why i'm writing green because it's an amendment whenever you see green it's a new thing which has come okay everyone except specified actionable claim and government have told there are some actionable claim on which we want gst for an example what is specified actionable claim betting i put i put 1000 rupees in the casino when i put 1000 rupees government is selling casino is giving you Betting ka? Casino is allowing you betting? Casino is allowing you betting? And you are paying him? There will be GST on the amount. It means they should collect 28% from me and give it to the government. You will see now in the news everywhere is there. This this online betting wala has got uh, this much ka notice from GST department. This person has got this much ka notice. They made this change. And everyone ko notice has been given. Hey, you did not pay GST. Give. Are you guys able to understand? Crores of rupees ka notices have gone. Now, casino, you know casino everyone. You go put money, they will draw, they will have one table, numbers will be there, correct or not? You put money on the number. It is all actionable claim. You have a right to receive, which is contingent. Do you guys agree with me? You have a right to receive, which is? So whenever anybody is allowing you to do betting, gambling, and they are collecting any amount from you, they should also collect GST and give it to the government. Are we clear, everyone? Next. Gambling, horse racing. But you know, you know my horse, no? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay, I will draw. Wait.
people for an example there is a horse race people there is a horse race okay everyone and this is i am over here i put money on this horse on this human ne baba on this horse i put money on this horse that is, this horse is going to win hey i will put 1 lakh rupees that person who has people listen that person who has taken the money from me he has given me he has allowed me to do what betting i have done betting and he has taken the money from me so has he gone ahead has he gone ahead and given me a supply of goods are people actionable claims are goods not service i am not telling it's a service has he taken from me money from me has he given me some supply of goods actionable claims are goods don't call it service sir betting is a service no it's goods because actionable claims are goods when he takes the money from me he should take gst also and give it to the government so if my horse wins tick 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 baba then i will give win the money but that is contingent so it is an actionable claim next lottery people when i am selling lottery when i am selling lottery i should collect gst and give it to the online gaming dream 11 this 11 that 11 people are doing what game betting only yes or no everyone so whenever you are putting online money in gaming etc what is happening everyone government is selling baba all these are actionable claim all these are actionable claim it's a right to receive the money if you win so government terms it as actionable claim remember are all actionable claim goods yes or no yes but all actionable claims are not supply of goods all actionable claims are not supply of goods so tell me one thing if i receive insurance money if i receive insurance money will there be any gst on that money will i charge any gst on that money if i receive arrears of rent will i charge any gst on that money why because they are actionable claim but actionable claims are out of gst which actionable claims are not out of gst betting gambling horses online gaming all this pay gst will come so if i am a person i am allowing online giving to you people if i am allowing online giving to you i collected 1 lakh should i also collect gst and give to the government yes all this online gaming etc may there was some gst which leakage was happening and hence government went ahead and sent all of them notice saying you have to pay this much gst you have to pay this much gst and you will see nowadays in the news everywhere saying this online gaming platform has been sent this much ka notice to pay gst this change has come are we clear everyone so tell me one thing betting gambling casino horse race online gaming are they within gst or they are also out they are in gst other than this if i receive insurance claim will gst come on that amount if i have any arrears of rent which i have a right to receive and i receive it will gst come on that amount no those are not all actionable claims are goods but all actionable claims are not supply of goods only which one pe gst will come betting gambling casino horses and online gaming and lottery people what is it betting casino gambling horses lottery online gaming you make one shortcut okay everyone so that you can remember you have to think okay everyone can we go ahead everyone you think one shortcut how to remember okay everyone next otherwise also you will remember this betting gambling or says lottery online gaming all are same correct everyone next people <coughs> can you tell me what did i teach you till now schedule 3 mein which are neither supply of goods nor supply of i told you you can see over here who is this yeah. are who is this yeah. i taught you camel g 
what is this camel g number 1 c for court or tribunal tribunal which tribunal court or tribunal which are established under law including c d r c s a for actionable claims are neither supply of goods nor supply of service but except which one except betting gambling casino horses lottery online gaming can i quote everyone on this will gst come yes m4 mortuary funeral burial including transportation of deceased whether transported home burial ground wherever any kind of transportation there will be no gst e for employee to employer which are given in the course of which are given in the course of employment next l for land and completed building and g for government official government official can be mp mla mlcs constitutional post holder can you tell me who are constitutional post holder president prime minister controller and auditor general etc and the last one is cmd of a government body where he is not an write it down quickly if you want to otherwise we'll go ahead people are taking photos so i'll smile hmm. quick 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 everyone quickly write down Ah. No, paragraph and all is not required to be remembered. It is just for classroom learning purpose that I tell you. You can remember only section number 7. Enough. You remember schedule 2, schedule 3. Enough. You practice. If you practice, you will remember everything. Can we go ahead, everyone? Quickly write. People, are we done? Okay. Tell me one thing. What are the what are the activities? Or transaction which are neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Camel G. C for people. You have to talk with me, everyone. C for court or tribunal, including consumer dispute redressal commission. Then actionable claim other than 
बेटिंग गैमलिंग हॉर्सेस ऑनलाइन गेमिंग लॉटरी कसिनोस एक्सेट्रा एम फॉर मॉर्चुरी बारियल फ्यूनरल इंक्लूडिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ डिसीज E for employee to employer, whatever services are given in the course of employment, perquisites also. Other than employment, if employer is paying anything to the employee, remember, up to fifty thousand, no GST. Above fifty thousand, GST employer has to pay. It will be a supply. Then, land and completed building, sale of land and completed. Building G for government official like MP, MLA, MLCs, etc. Are we clear, everyone? Can we go ahead? Next, and Baba constitutional post holder and CMD of a. If he is giving services to the government body when he is not an employee, then his services are also neither supply of goods nor supply of service. What's a CMD, everyone? Chairperson. Member or director. Chalo. Are we done till here, everyone? Can I go ahead? Remember, all this betting, casino, gambling, etc. All this ka name is what? Specified actionable claim. And only not all actionable claim with GST will come. Only on specified actionable claim GST comes. Now, section number seven two me, which is neither supply of goods nor supply of service, they give B also. And they say, section number seven two, people. What did we learn till now? Seven two, A we learned, which is camel. G. Now we are going to learn B. B says, people listen, listen, listen. Central government, state government, or local authority. Local authority means panchayat, municipality, etc. If they are doing. any activity for the public if they are doing any activity for the public people can i go ahead are we done writing everyone here if central government state government local authority does any activity for the public that activity also will be neither supply of goods nor supply of service but that activity has to be notified but that activity has to be notified by the government on the recommendation of council sir what do you mean by this it means council can go ahead and recommend that government and government can issue one notification that whatever activity central government state government local authority is doing for the public that activity pay government will not charge any gst are we clear everyone now for an example people listen government picks up garbage from your home for an example tomorrow the government starts saying that commercially commercial buildings whenever we are picking the garbage per month we will charge 100 rupees so when government is collecting that 100 is government central government state government or local authority doing that activity for the public are they collecting garbage from our place they are doing an activity for us is government doing an activity for us yes or no everyone when government does that activity for us and government collects any amount that amount pay that amount pay gst will not come that service pay gst will not come provided that service is notified by the government on the recommendation of council means council told the government that government these are the activities which you can issue one notification and say that when government will do this activity for the public government will not collect any gst are we clear everyone otherwise people remember one thing central government state government local authority even if they are also doing activity for the public no they are also doing business how many of you read the de definition of business you read i told you to read it at home here if you see if any activity or transaction is done by the government which are engaged as public it means if they are doing an activity for the 
public that is also business do you guys agree with me so it means people listen is it an activity is it a consideration government collected garbage from your place is it an activity by the government is it for a consideration if government charges a consideration is it their business are it business only no because business ka definition says when government is doing an activity for the public that is also business clear so gst should come but then they went ahead and told in schedule 3 that when government will do an activity for the public gst will not come but that act, not all activity on which activity gst will not come which government has notified means government has issued a for which government has issued a notification and told that this activity done by the government for the public gst will not come let's see what are the activities see activities or transaction undertaken by central government state government local authority as what everyone as public authority means for the public which is notified ngrc means what everyone notified by the government on the recommendation of then that activity will be neither supply of goods nor supply of and you know what government has issued notification and activity has been notified one and two let's understand everyone over here second one i'll teach you first grant of alcoholic liquor license against license fees or application fees people tell me one thing for an example whom will withdraw Manoj, Manoj, no, sorry, Ravi, ha, Ravi, Ravi, okay, people, this is Ravi, this is Ravi, everyone, Take okay, everyone, and what does Ravi do, Ravi sells alcohol, Take okay, everyone, you tell me one thing, if you want to, Baba, he's holding both the bottle, you want to buy this, you buy this, he's selling, now everyone listen, People on the board, they, how much will you talk? Till I throw you out of the class, you will not stop, is it? Then stop, no. You on the board, you are here to study. Can I go, you, go ahead, everyone? Sometimes, no students, from morning he started talking, means he's not stopping only. It's already one and a half hour talking, 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 not stopping only. Say, Baba, you are here to study. If you want to talk, Aram say, go out and talk, no. Why disturb the class? Hey, 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 talking, talking, talking. On the board, everyone here now. Supposingly, Baba, can you open an alcohol shop just like that and start selling alcohol? You have to go to the state government. State government will go ahead and give you alcoholic liquor. Ka. Is state government doing business? It's an activity for a consideration and it's the government ka business to give alcoholic liquor license. When government will collect from you, for an example, 10 lakh rupees as license fees as application fees supposingly government collected from you 1000 rupees for applying for the license if government collected a fees of 10 lakh from you government will not go ahead and charge any because they are telling here government is doing it for the public let you drink government is giving license to the public Array, you wanted a license correct everyone so here what they are telling is state government when it is applying giving you alcoholic liquor license and taking what license fees or application fees baba there will be no gst that's all they have told grant of alcoholic liquor license against license or application fees there will be no gst are we clear everyone tell me one thing they told when government is giving alcoholic liquor license there will be no gst you know what people told when government is giving any license, there will be no GST. Did government say that? Or government told only giving alcoholic liquor license, there will be no GST. Alcoholic liquor license. For an example, I'll tell you. I wanted to do mining. You know mining, everyone? There's a mountain. I thought I'll break the mountain, take out stones. Can you start mining anywhere? You took one JCB machine and you started doing mining. Can you do that? Baba, they'll put, put you in jail. Now, I went to the state government and I told, sir, I want a mining license. I want a mining, you know, like this, telecom license is there, 
so many licenses government gives you if government gives you mining license will on that amount will on mining license will gst come they never told giving of mining license is also neither supply of good nor supply of service giving of telecom license will gst come yes they are telling over here see government clarified grant of any privilege if government is giving you any privileges government is giving you any license privilege as of now you take it to be a license only any mining right against consideration wherein you are paying fees or you are paying any what are you going to pay to the government fees or royalty then they are going ahead and telling gst is payable only giving only when government is giving you what everyone alcoholic liquor license there will be no gst if government is giving you other licenses mining license telecom license and government is taking fees and royalty will gst come everyone it means government will go ahead you have to go ahead and pay gst on this amount are we clear everyone can we go ahead <coughs> is my point clear to all chalo i'll go ahead and teach you the next one you know a panchayat and municipality what is the work of the panchayat and what is the work of the municipality who told what is the work of the panchayat and what is the work of the municipality <coughs> constitution of india may constitution of india may we have one article called 243 g and we have one article called 243 w which says what are the work which has to be done by a municipality and what are the work which are to be done by a panchayat i will tell you for an example in the article of the constitution 243 g and 243 w in the article they have told that a panchay a municipality should see to it that you know street lights everyone this street light supposing me this street light is not working whose work is to repair you will climb on the pole and repair whose work it is to repair municipality do you guys agree with me this road ka cleaning ka work whose work it is to clean the road municipality to collect garbage from your home whose work it is to collect the garbage everyone municipality do you guys agree with me all this work municipality does not do on his own who have told them to do article number 243g and article number 243w article number 243g may it is told what are the work to be done by whom panchayat and what are the work to be done by m ka ulta is w so 243w is for whom municipality 243g is for whom panchayat in that it is told electrification of the Town cleaning, sewage, garbage collection—all these are work of whom? Municipality. Now you tell me one thing. If supposingly panchayat or municipality is doing those work which are told under 243G or W, and it is doing for whom? Public only. So is it giving a service to the public? Is it collecting some fees? Might be. You call the. you called the municipality and he told please come to my home the uh, what do you call it sewage which is there has to be cleaned they will put one pipe and they will clean it and go do you guys agree with me now they will go ahead and charge you a amount it is not free they will charge you an amount for an example they will charge you 500 rupees baba is this service told under 243 g and w yes or no So if they have gone ahead and done a service for you, which is told under 243G or W, then that is neither supply of goods nor supply of. Will they charge you any GST? No. For an example, municipality collects the garbage from your home or office, and they charge you 500 rupees. Municipal charges. Uh, municipality is charging you every month. Will they collect GST from you? No. Why? Because if they are doing this activity under 243 G and W, in the exam they will not ask you what are the activities under 243 G and W. They will tell you municipality is doing 243 G wala activity or panchayat is doing 243 G wala activity for the public and collected 500 rupees. Will GST be applicable? Yes or no, everyone? No. Why? Why everyone? 
बिकॉज इट इज नाइदर सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स नॉर सप्लाई ऑफ सर्विस आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन तो कैन यू टेल मी इन सेक्शन नंबर सेवन टू बी वट इज द फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी आई टोल्ड यू पंचायत अंडर टू फोर थ्री जी एंड म्यूनिसपालिटी अंडर टू फोर थ्री डब्ल्यू वट एवर एक्टिविटीज आर टोल्ड इफ दे आर डूइंग फॉर द पब्लिक एंड दे आर कलेक्टिंग एनी अमाउंट तो वट एवर सर्विसेस आर टोल्ड अंडर विच सेक्शन एवरी वन आर्टिकल टू फोर थ्री जी एंड डब्ल्यू बाबा टू फोर थ्री जी एंड डब्ल्यू बेसिकली से म्यूनिसपालिटी शुड मेंटेन द रोड म्यूनिसपालिटी शुड मेंटेन सीवेजेस ऑल द ड्रेन्स एक्सेट्रा म्यूनिसपालिटी शुड मेंटेन द स्ट्रीट लाइट्स आर वी क्लियर म्यूनिसपालिटी शुड सी दैट इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन इज डन प्रॉपरली डू दे डू दिस इन द मार्केट बाबा समटाइम यू सी नो ऑल द म्यूनिसपालिटी का पीपल विल कम एंड डू ऑल दिस थिंग फॉर यू येस और नो वेन दे आर गिविंग यूर सर्विस एंड दे आर कलेक्टिंग एन अमाउंट फ्रॉम यू बाबा दिस सर्विस इज ना इधर सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स नॉर सप्लाई ऑफ इज माई पॉइंट क्लियर आई गिव यू वन मोर पॉइंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट गिविंग वट alcoholic liquor license what will happen will gst come if you pay the fees you applied you gave application fees you gave license fees government is telling baba when you are going ahead and government is giving you alcoholic liquor license it's a service given by the government to you and on this government will not charge any why because this is neither supply of goods nor supply of are we clear everyone can we go ahead that's all these two activities you have to remember are notified by the government tell me one thing everyone if government gives other licenses mining license telecom license then will government charge you gst will gst come on that amount yes chalo i'll do one thing i'll give you two minutes break so that you guys can talk to each other and then we'll continue three minutes okay everyone done people watching at home 3 minutes break chalo let's continue everyone over here now there are two three questions let's see see ca inter may 23 five marks list any five activity or transaction specified under schedule 3 which shall be neither supply of goods nor supply of Detailed explanation is not required. People, ha ha, easy. Just because you remember, Camel G. What is Camel G, everyone? Court or tribunal ka services. Actionable claim other than specified actionable claim. Mortuary, burial, funeral. E for employee to employer. L for land and completed building. D for government. You don't write in the exam. You don't write in the exam. Government official. I gave you the name so that you can remember. You write function performed by MP, MLA, MLCs, constitutional post holder, or functions which are performed by CMD of a body established by the government where he is not an employee. People. Today at home, you have to practice this as homework. See, duties performed by, functions performed by. Don't go ahead and write government official. No, no, no. Government official is the name which I have told you so that you can remember. Are we clear, everyone? See, I have cut this over here and I have written specified actionable claim because this was earlier, and now it is known as what, everyone? Specified actionable claim. earlier it was what everyone earlier they used to say only lottery betting gambling hey enough enough i'm shouting over my throat you know i'm not able to talk also we are talking more than 10 hours a day and how much will i shout on you stop talking everyone i gave you time to talk right now you have to listen to the class it's not my exam it's your exam be a little serious everyone can we go ahead shouting 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 how much will you talk on the board see earlier it was told lottery betting gambling now i have cut this and i am telling what everyone now it is specified actionable claim which we have already known what is specified actionable claim can i go ahead everyone next determine whether gst is payable in each of the independent transaction dhruv developer sold a plot of land in greater noida 
after labeling line down of drainage what pipeline water lines and electric line may 23 ka rtp what do you think everyone no gst no that is also neither supply of goods nor supply of you have to practice this question write it as homework everyone how many of you did yesterday's homework very good you guys practiced it yes. very good next angad private limited is engaged in supplying of distribution of construction material as an incentive angad private limited limited pays an amount of 75000 to its employee upon achieving a sales target the incentive is a part of salary and applicable tax is deducted at source what do you mean by deducted tds will be done from your salary that is okay angad is of the view that gst is not available at as it's an incentive paid to the employees baba whether the view taken by angad is correct angad ka employees provided the service and is giving them incentive and that incentive is as per the employment letter anything paid as per the employment letter will gst come see it is as per the incentive is a part of salary salary if i am giving services and you are paying me salary perquisites or anything as per the employment letter then baba what services i am giving there will be no will you guys be able to write it everyone next sarvana and son wishes to start a liquor supplying liquor in the state of tamil nadu therefore it applies for license for selling of liquor to tamil nadu government for it has charged specified fees from it examine whether the grant of alcoholic liquor license by tamil nadu government to sarvana and sons qualify as supply everyone yes or no supplying of alcoholic liquor license against a license fees will gst come no. no are we clear everyone it is neither supply of goods nor supply of you have to practice this at home this is again your homework today people i am not making you practice it in the class because you have understood what to do right you have to write you have to compare your answer then you will know what are the problems are you able to realize your problem what you are not writing how you should write trust me if you are doing it for 15 20 days now you will know exactly how to start writing are you writing better now yes people who are practicing are writing better enough you have to keep practicing can we go ahead everyone i am not telling you to do it in class because then i have to sit you getting my point i can use my time to teach you you guys can do the practice work at home can i go ahead everyone now people i taught you section number 7 people you are done with section number 7 just imagine you remember also let's see section number 7 1 section number 71 a all form for a consideration in the course of business a a everyone person other than individual doing an activity or transaction with the member for a consideration will be supply b everyone importation of service for a consideration business non business both are this pay gst under rcm and this is t everyone schedule 1 how many activities will also be considered as supply you guys remember the activities no okay then we have section number 71 capital a that this activity is will now be seen whether it is supply of goods or supply of schedule 2 how many paragraphs we read everyone 6 correct in that paragraphs i have taught you the second one but this is yet to be done next the next one is section number 72a we told what is neither supply of goods nor supply of service and here we learned schedule 3 we told about camel g and baba b central government state government local authority if they do anything for the and this activity should be notified and we learned about how many notified activity everyone two one minute everyone we learned about two notified activities now 
Section number 73 is also there. Can you see 73? This is total bakwas. What is this selling now? Central government has the government has the power that government can say that this is supply of service. Selling of mobile is supply of service and not supply of goods. If government wants, government can do that. Teaching is supply of goods and not supply of service. Can government do that? Yes. Government is selling. Government on the recommendation of council can issue what? Notification and say that a transaction is supply of goods and not supply of service or supply of service and not supply of goods. That power is there with the government. Under section number 73, let the power be there. We don't care. Baba 73 is total bakwas. Can I go ahead everyone? But government has the power. If government tomorrow wants, government can say this activity, it is not service, it is goods. And that will be goods only. For an example, restaurant, did the government say it is supply of service? It will always be a supply of, it will never be supply of goods. In that way, if ever in future any confusion comes, then government can use the power under section number 73 and say, hey, this is supply of service. And we have to treat it as supply of service. If government says, hey, this is supply of goods, then that will be supply of goods. That is just the power. Can we go ahead, everyone? Then we have section number, after section number 7, comes section number, okay. In section number 7, we have some circulars which are there, which I am yet to teach you. Don't worry about it. We will do it after the break. But before that, I want to go ahead and teach you section number 8. People, I want to teach you section number 8. What is section number 8 telling over here? Section number 8 says, taxability of composite supply and mixed supply. But first you will tell me, sir, you are telling how composite supply will be taxed. That is told by section number 8. But sir, what is composite supply and what is mixed supply? So first you have to understand what is a composite supply and what is a mixed supply. Do you guys agree with me? Chalo, let's first understand what is a composite supply. For an example, you went to the market. You went to the market. You bought a mobile phone. You bought a mobile phone. And along with the mobile, he gave you a charger. And they charged you 10,000 rupees. They charged you 10,000 rupees. For the mobile phone, along with that, they gave you a mobile phone. Pay rate of GST is 18%. And actually, if you buy only charger, charger pay rate of GST is 12%. Can you tell me? The shopkeeper when he sold you the mobile phone and charged you 10,000 rupees, he will charge GST at the rate of what? 18 or 12? 18%. Why? Because the main supply is mobile. You are telling that? This is an example of composite supply. Let's first understand what do you mean by composite supply. I'll give you one more example. You went to the market to buy a laptop. You bought a laptop. Okay? Along with the laptop, they went ahead and gave you a charger and they gave you a laptop back. Does they do that, everyone? Most of the companies do that. Most of the companies, sellers do this. Laptop, bag and charger, you paid 40,000 rupees. Actually, laptop pay rate is 18%, charger pay rate is 12% and bag pay rate is 28% GST. What one will you apply? Why 18 because the main supply is laptop. You went to buy laptop. Do you guys agree with me? Now, who told that this 18 will be applicable? That is told by section number 8. Section number 8 says, whenever it's a composite supply, please treat it as supply of principal supply. What is principal over here? Laptop. But first of all, what is composite supply? What is a? They have given one definition. I have written the definition over here. Composite supply means two or more taxable supply. Are they, are they all taxable supply, everyone? Is there a tax on all the supplies? Yes. They are naturally bundled. Are they naturally bundled? Naturally, when you buy a laptop, you will get a charger and bag. Naturally, when you buy a phone, along with the phone, you will get a charger. Do you guys agree with me? So, it's a natural bundle? Yes. Number one, it should be two or more 
taxable supply it should be naturally it should be supplied together in the ordinary course of business people tell me one thing generally in the ordinary course of business does all the supplier sell mobile and charger together ordinarily is mobile and charger sold together yes one should be a principal supply can you tell me in this example what is principal mobile or charger they are going ahead and telling if one is principal now definition told you what is composite supply correct once you prove that it's a composite supply section number 8 tells you how should you tax composite supply and section number 8 says please tax at the rate of can you tell me what is the principal supply principal supply is mobile and mobile pay what is the rate and hence 18 percent will be applicable do you guys agree with me in this example laptop charger laptop bag what is principal everyone is this composite supply first of all is it composite composite supply says two or more taxable supply are there two or more taxable supply are they naturally bundled everyone are they supplied in the ordinary course of business like this only by all the supplier one is principal what is principal so you understood it's a composite supply correct now we have to apply section number eight composite supply should be treated as if you are supplying the principal supply what is the principal supply so laptop car rate will apply are we all clear with this can i go ahead everyone Chalo. i'll give you one more example everyone i'll give you one more example i went to a shop it is diwali and i uh, there is a box which is the shopkeeper has made he has put over here sweets he has put over here dry fruits he has put over here juice he has put over here chocolates he has put over here candles okay everyone and i told him how much sir he told 5000 rupees baba this is a gift box do you guys agree with me and he is charging how much 5000 rupees i tell me one thing is it a composite supply one minute here rate of gst is 5% here uh, 10% here 12% here 18% here 28% okay now my question over here is is it a composite supply composite supply means two or more taxable supply are there two or more taxable supply yes it should be natural bundle is it a natural bundle might be tomorrow one shopkeeper will want he will add one patakes over here crackers also correct or not everyone one person will add one oil also over here saying fragrance oil it can happen everyone so uh, is it a natural bundle or an unnatural bundle so people is it composite supply it is not composite supply then we have to see is it mixed supply what is mixed supply two or more individual supply are they individual individual supplies supplied together for a single price are they just being supplied together for one price it was actually one two three four separate separate supply they joined it and they are selling for one price if they are doing that then it will be called and it should not be it should not be then it will become what everyone mixed supply so are they mixed supply everyone is this a mixed supply are there two or more individual supplies which are supplied for a single price are there people you have to tell me a yes are there individual individual supplies which are joined and supplied for one price yes everyone is it composite then what is it now we have to see section number eight which says mix supply treat as supply of that supply which attracts highest rate can you tell me in this which supply attracts highest rate so it will be treated as if a box of dry fruit is supplied and what rate of gst will be applied highest rate that is 28 percent will be applied is my point clear to all shall we take some more examples and understand I will go ahead and tell you for an example okay people over here now there is an example in a book only let's understand from here only miss kajal a registered supplier of jaipur 
Rajasthan and also engaged in event management services has made the following supplies in the month of January. Supplying of laptop along with laptop bag to customer of Mumbai. Baba people, laptop along with a laptop bag. If you supply for 55,000, laptop with laptop bag is what everyone? Is it two or more taxable supply? Are they taxable? See, laptop and laptop bag, are they taxable? Yes. Are they naturally bundled? Yes. Then, is it supplied together only in the ordinary course of business? It means, are all the suppliers selling laptop and laptop bag together only? Yes. One should be principal. What is principal? Laptop. So, can you tell me, is it composite supply? If composite, what rate will apply? What is principal? 18 or 28? 18. So, here, here 18 will apply. Can we go ahead, everyone? Let's see. Supply of 10,000 kids at 50 rupees each, amounting to 5 lakh, to Ram Fancy Store. So, I supplied one kit. I supplied one kit. Each kit consists of one hair oil, one beauty soap, and one hair comb. So, I am making one box. In that, I am giving what? Hair oil. I am giving what, everyone? Soap. And I am giving what, everyone? Comb. Now, my question over here is, is it composite supply? Is it a natural bundle? Why? You can add anything else also. It's an unnatural bundle. Correct, everyone? So, is it mixed supply? Is it two or more individual supply? Oil is different. Comb is different. Soap is different. They have clubbed it together and selling at one price, which is 50 rupees. Do you guys agree with me? Is it? It is two or more individual supplies supplied together for a single. And it is not. So, what is it, everyone? Mixed. Mixed supply. What will you treat? It, you have to treat as if it's a box of that supply which attracts highest rate. Can you tell me which is the highest rate? In this question, hair oil, beauty soap and hair comb. Hair oil, beauty soap and hair comb. What rate will apply? 28%. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. People, are you able to understand the question? 100 kids are given free gift to Jaipur customer, all unrelated. On the occasion of Mrs. Kajal's birthday. Mrs. Kajal is owning a business. Her birthday it is. So, gave, she gave what? Gift to Jaipur customer. Each kit consists of one hair oil, one beauty soap. Each kit is how much everyone? 35. People, she gave a kit to all the customers. Input tax credit has not been taken on the kit. People, permanent transfer of business asset. Did I take the ITC on the kits? No. I gave it free of cost, but I did not take ITC also. Is it supply? No. If not supply, why composite and why mixed? Are we clear, everyone? So here it will be nil. Can we go ahead, everyone? Next. Event management services provided. People, are you able to link? Now I'm not teaching you only one thing. I'm linking the whole chapter and teaching because these are complete questions. Next. Provided free of cost to her brother, wholly dependent. Brother dependent is? You gave your event management service. I am into event management. I gave to my brother event management services, who is dependent on me. Supply between related. Is it my business to give event management service? Yes. I am registered supplier in Jaipur. It means my work is to sell goods, to give event management service. All this is my work. She is also against in event management service. It means it is my work to supply event management service. If I give event management service to my brother free of cost, is it supply? Are you tell no. And then you should talk like this. No, why do you want me to shout? If I shout no, then again I will not be able to talk. Can I go ahead, everyone? So is it supply, everyone? Yes. For his son's marriage in Indore, cost of providing the services or 80. Thousand. Whatever is the cost, my question over here is, is it supply between related person? Is it in the course of my business? Yes. Will it be a supply? Okay. Event management service, what is the rate? 
Yes, madam, you have a doubt. Tell no. She is telling it is not imported service. Make your chutney now. Wait. What is this? Supply between. What is this? Supply between related person in the course of your business without consideration. What are you thinking? Are we clear, everyone? It's okay. First time you can go wrong, but now you will not go wrong. That is why it is important to question answers. Can I go ahead, everyone? Clear? No problem. I will not make your chutney. Is it clear now? Yes, everyone over here now. Next. Well, next one. 1400 here and 100 coolers are hired out to function garden Ajmer, Rajasthan. We did what everyone? We gave chairs and cooler on rent. 4 rupees, 3,30,000 excluding GST, including transporting the chair and cooler from Mrs. Kajal's go down in Jaipur to function garden Ajmer. I told sir, we will only we have given you the chair on rent. We will only arrange for the transportation and we will make sure that your chairs will reach you and air coolers will reach you. Transportation will be our responsibility. And we charge them 3,30,000. My question is, for an example, for an example, for my son's wedding, I told one person, can you give me the chair and can you give me the cooler? He told, sir, don't worry. We will give you the chairs and the cooler and we will only transport it to our, your place. Do they generally transport it? Yes or no? Is it a natural one? Okay. Is it two or more taxable supply? Why? Giving on rent plus transportation. Is it two or more taxable supply? Naturally bundle? Naturally it happens in the market. Supply together in the ordinary course by all the suppliers. Generally all the suppliers do this. One should be principal. What is principal? Transportation? Renting. Or renting? Renting. Transportation per rate is 5%, renting by 12. What rate will apply? Are we all clear till here? Can we go ahead, everyone? People got it? Next. People, over here now. Over, you did such a big question. Next. Composite supply is treated as supply of particular goods or service which attracts highest rate of tax. Do you think? No, it should be treated as supply of that supply which it which is the principal next people homework what homework i have already done this in the class okay everyone over here a hotel provides four days and three night package wherein breakfast and dinner is provided along with the room people you went to a hotel, you booked a hotel, hotel accommodation services, correct everyone? They gave you accommodation services, plus they gave you breakfast and dinner. And they told, sir, we will charge you for an example, 10,000. My question is, is it a composite supply or mixed supply? What is composite? Is it, is it taxable supplies? Yes. What is non-taxable? Only two are non-taxable in GST. Alcoholic liquor for human consumption and HP man. Those two are non-taxable in GST. Other than that, everything is taxable. Tax? Other than only two, everything is taxable. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now. Is it two or more taxable supply? Is it naturally bundle? When you stay in a hotel, they give you breakfast or they give you breakfast plus dinner. Are they supplied together in the ordinary course of business by all the suppliers? Ordinarily, all the suppliers give you hotel may breakfast. What is principal? One is principal. One should be principal. What is principal? Huh? Accommodation. Correct or not? And hence, it is a composite supply. What rate of GST will apply? Accommodation wala rate will apply. Under comp okay, toothpaste company has offered the scheme of free soap along with toothpaste. Huh? Soap and 
toothpaste you will take soap toothpaste hey. you will you do that then everyone is it composite supply is it a natural bundle it's a mix supply what rate will apply whichever is higher oh what is mix supply this and this are not natural bundle you unnaturally tied them together and you are telling mobile and this one i actually mobile is 30 this is 10 40000 rupees take it for 35 you are doing an unnatural bundle and selling something that is mixed supply are we clear you tell me one thing people is this clear to all of you you went to one shop everyone okay you told uncle uncle i want a i want a mobile he told mobile beta i will charge you 30000 i told uncle i want one remote also he told one remote i will charge you 10000 30000 and remote pay rate of gst is 18 percent remote uh, mobile pay rate of gst is 18 remote pay is 12 what rate will he will apply okay is it composite or mixed yes. hey it is separate separate supply remote ka, mix ke liye, it has to be a single price correct no why you are thinking only composite and mix now Aray, it is mobile is a separate supply for mobile he will apply 18 for remote he will apply 12 over when it will be composite when it will be mixed supply he gave you mobile plus remote and he told better you can do one thing you give me only 30,000 rupees for both of them then what rate will apply then you will apply it in baba mixed supply ke liye very important it is single price are we clear now i will ask you People, is this clear to all? Will you do this as homework today? Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. Okay, everyone here. Hello. Please come to a textbook. Question answers we'll do later. People, I've given some examples. You guys quickly tell me, then I will understand that you understood and we'll go ahead. Air transport along with meal on board the meal is included in the ticket you book you booked an airline ticket along with the airline ticket they gave you food also complimentary composite or mixed composite, composite. natural bundle it is correct or not when you went in the flight they gave you food is my point clear composite supply how two or more taxable supply two separate supplies are there are they naturally bundled are they supplied together in the ordinary course of business by all the suppliers one is principal. You went to eat or you went to fly. So what is that? What is the service? Air transport. GST will come at the rate of what? Principal yeah. supply, which is air transport. Can I go ahead, everyone? Hotel stay with complimentary breakfast. You went to eat or you went to stay? stay. Composite or mixed? Composite. Composite. Gift package consisting of sweet, chocolate, candles, perfume, and crackers. What will you add more? You add one comb also. You add one candle also. Candles are there. Okay, second candle I added. What is it, everyone? Composite or mix? Mix supply means two or more individual supplies. Joined it and then supplied. Then they are telling it is mixed supply. You should supply it for a single price. You bought a bike. Along with the bike, they give you one year insurance also. And maintenance also, free maintenance. Composite or mixed? Composite. Hotel facility along with free laundry and airport pickup. Baba, when you stay in a hotel, big five-star hotels, do what everyone? They give you airport pickup and they give you laundry also. Sir, your clothes will also be washed. Composite or mixed? Composite. Cosmetic. Hair oil. Aha. They made one package. What is it everyone? Mixed. Laptop with laptop bag? Composite. Composite. Computer and printer together for 50,000. Computer and printer, composite or mixed? Is it a natural bundle? Do you see in the market they are giving computer by computer printer also? It should be a natural bundle. Are you guys able to understand? Okay, tell me one thing. I went to one shop. They told, sir, computer 50,000, printer 30,000. Computer pay rate is 18, printer pay rate is 28. People, what rate will apply? 
what rate will apply for what what kind of is apply it is i will make your chutney now if you tell me what is this mix supply this is separate separate supply because for mix supply what is important correct or not again you are telling same example i gave here here again i am writing you are forgetting people did you understand mix supply means it should be a single price now i gave computer plus printer and i told you give me 70000 only now 18% you will apply or 28% highest rate 28 mixed is when go two unnatural thing you join and you give for okay nothing you give for what everyone one price is my point clear i'll ask again you will tell wrong no i will not. you don't take that risk this time i will make chutney only everyone over here people watching at home chutney means to grind like, mm. Everyone over here now. Next. Booking a trip with make my trip for 20,000. You told make my trip. I want to go on a trip. And you book the trip with them for how much, everyone? 20,000. They are going to give you travel, guide, hotel, and food. People, is it a composite or mixed supply? Naturally, whenever you book a trip with a person, he will give you. He will give you the bill of travel expense or whatever trip expenses and he will charge you. But in the trip, they will give you food also. They will not tell you sleep in the railway station, go. <laughs> they will give you accommodation also. Correct or not, everyone? They will give you food also. They will not tell, I will not give food, you die. No. They will give you food also. They will give you guide also. They will give accommodation also. But the main is what? Traveling. So, whatever that service pay rate is there, they will charge you. Are we clear, everyone? Next. Buying a TV. With free installation and one year warranty. Composite. Are we clear or you want to learn more? Got it everyone. Can I go ahead? Next. People over here now. I taught you. I taught you what is composite supply. Okay. Tell me one thing. We will draw one example. Okay everyone. Ravi bhai. Ah, ha, ha. This is Ravi. People, what happened to Ravi? What happened to Ravi? Hey, this is not looking like Ravi. Wait. Uh, correct. Everyone over here now. people what is this okay this is alcohol and this is peanuts okay listen Ravi went to one shop he told I want alcohol and I want peanuts also they gave him alcohol and complimentary peanuts also they told sir you take peanuts also my question over here is alcohol and peanuts natural bundle Yes or no, everyone? But, okay, is it composite supply? He told, okay, sir, we are giving you alcoholic liquor plus peanuts and you can pay us 500 rupees. My question over here, is it a composite supply? Gone, everyone. It might be a natural bundle, but composite supply says two or more taxable supply. Two or more taxable. This alcohol is not taxable supply. So, this is non-taxable supply and this peanut is a taxable supply. Peanut pay rate of GST is 5%. Do you guys agree with me? And the shopkeeper charged him 500. My question over here, is it mixed supply? Two or more individual supply. Mixed supply does not discriminate between taxable or non-taxable. This is taxable, this is non-taxable. You joined it. Individual, individual supplies, you joined and supplied for a single price. Correct or not? What is the rate will apply? Full bill pay. GST will be applicable at the rate of. Because non-taxable supply, so there is no rate only. Are you guys able to understand? You know what shopkeepers do? When they will sell you, when one person will sell alcoholic liquor, no? Alcoholic, he'll sell, sir. Alcoholic liquor will charge you 500 rupees. Peanuts, we will charge you 100 rupees. So, alcohol pay will not charge any GST because there is no GST only. And peanuts, we will go ahead and charge you. 
whatever 5% rate of GST is there, we'll charge. But if one shopkeeper told, sir, alcohol plus peanut complimentary, peanut will give together and we are going to charge you 500 together, then can you call it a mixed supply? Can you call it composite? No. Why no? Alcohol is non-taxable. For composite supply, it has to be two or more taxable supply. One is non-taxable, one is taxable. Can it be individual supplies? Yes. Two individual supplies. Wow, when they say individual supplies, it can be taxable also, it can be non-taxable. Did you supply it for a single price? If you supply it for a single price, here there is no GST, here there is 5%. What rate will apply on the? Did you guys get it, everyone? That is why when you go and drink, don't go and drink. Don't say, sir, told this. No, no, only for classroom. When you go and drink, they, when you go, no, don't go. I am telling, when you see that kind of bill, you will see that on the alcohol, they don't charge you GST. On food, they will charge you GST because for alcohol, they will charge you separate rate. For food, they will charge you separate. For food, they will charge you 5%. For alcohol, they will not charge because alcohol is not. Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead? Is my point clear to all? Got it? Chalo, done. Take it. Don't tell Papa, okay? Sir told alcohol, peanuts and all. Tomorrow, if Papa comes to class, then. Okay, everyone over here now. Chalo, we learned section number 8 also. Now, we have some circulars over here. Can you guys see circulars? Can you guys see circulars over here? I will teach you the above wala circulars after the break. Small, small circulars I will teach you now. What do you mean by circular, everyone? Clarification. People, we are done with the chapter. Small only, no? Now you tell me. Do you remember the whole chapter? Uh, five minutes, you can revise the whole chapter. We took might be three days to learn it. But you have to learn something that you remember it. And now I can I can guarantee that everyone can revise in 15 minutes. Correct or not? You have to learn that way. When you are learning other things also at home, you have to make summary and keep. That I can see everything in front of me only. Ha, everything is this much. Can I go ahead everyone? Now. You went to, people, people asked one doubt, people asked one doubt, you only give the clarification. Supposingly, this is a car, who is this everyone? Are you will recognize, who is this? Ravi, Are his necklace you see, no. Now this is Ravi, Ravi went to one showroom, he told my car, my car, you do the servicing. They told, sir, see, for whatever parts we will put, what, hey, don't talk. For whatever parts we put, we will go ahead and charge you. Supposingly, we put a part of 1,000, we will charge you 1,000 rupees. For servicing, we will charge you 2,000 rupees. For parts, the rate of GST is 18%. For service, the rate of GST is 28. Can you tell me what rate will apply? Who told this twin? What? It is composite mixed? Composite supply or mixed supply? It is separate, separate supply. Correct or not, everyone? Somebody told 28 now. It is separate, separate supply. So they clarified. They clari you, you guys understood this? You went to repair your car. They told, sir, for the parts, it is 1,000 rupees. And for servicing, it is 2,000. Parts pay rate is 18. Servicing pay rate is 28. What will they apply? Separate, separate. So they will make one bill. They will make one bill. They will tell parts ka 1000 rupees, servicing ka 2000 rupees, GST on parts 180 rupees, GST on servicing uh, whatever 28 percent means 400 and 560 rupees, right? That's all. And they will make the bill. Will they apply separate, separate GST? Yes, it is separate, separate supply. Separate, separate GST. That's all is the clarification which came. That sir, if you get your car service done, involving supply of goods that is part and supply of service that is labor and value of goods and service are shown separately. Have they shown separately? Liable to GST at the rate as applicable to such goods and service separately. I'll ask you one question. I went to one showroom. I told sir, I want to get my Car may one part change. They told sir, see the part ka rate is 1000. We will go ahead and charge you 1500 
we will go ahead and put the part also we'll give the servicing also now is it a composite supply everyone are they told sir we will give you the parts also plus we will fit the part also it means we'll give you service also correct everyone and they told sir we'll charge you 1500 fixed one amount they told me composite or mixed think are there two or more taxable supply two separate separate supplies are they naturally bundled when you get your part fixed they tell sir part along with the servicing will charge you this much naturally bundle is it done together in the course of business is it supplied together in the ordinary course of business by all the supplier one is principal what is principal parts and parts car rate will apply but generally they don't do it like this whenever you go to buy a parts no in the car showroom they will tell you sir part car rate is this much and servicing ke liye, for putting the part we will charge this much so baba for parts they will charge gst separate and for servicing they will charge gst separate it is not composite it is not mixed it is separate separate supply are we clear everyone can i go ahead okay everyone over here now my book me my book ka ipr okay people is this clear first circular i'll give you the next circular on printing contracts everyone over here now for an example this book may whose ipr is this book the copyright belongs to me okay everyone i gave the copyright i made the book a soft copy and i gave it to the printer i told sir you do the printing and you give it to me so the printer gave me two things one is he did the printing which is a service do you guys agree with me plus when he did the printing what will he print on he'll print on paper plus he will use ink do you guys agree with me he gave me printing plus when he did the printing for me baba he did the printing on paper he used ink so he gave me service also do you guys service plus goods printing service is a supply of service paper ink etc is supply of goods people listen over here can you tell me over here when i told him to do the printing and give it to me he used paper ink etc also what he will print on my head or he'll print on paper but what did he give principally okay tell me one thing is it two or more taxable supply printing by rate of gst is 12 paper by rate of gst is 18 my question over here is when i was owning the ipr ipr means it was my soft copy I send him, I told sir, print and give it to me. Did I ask him paper, ink, etc. Or I asked him printing service. <laughs> Think again about it. Printing is a supply of service and paper, ink, etc. is supply of goods. Principally, what did I ask him? Paper, ink or I asked him printing. So this is the principal supply. This is known as ancillary supply. What do you mean by ancillary supply? In a composite supply, the main supply is known as principal. All the other supplies are known as ancillary. Are we clear? Now, my question over here, is it a composite supply? Two or more taxable supply? Are they natural bundle? When you ask someone to give you printing, they will give you paper, ink, etc. So, it's a natural bundle. Is it supplied together in the ordinary course of business by all the supplier like this only? That when you ask them printing, they will give paper, ink, etc. together. Array. Otherwise, what will he print with? Otherwise, what will he print on? What is what is principal? Printing or paper, ink, etc. Principally, what did you ask him? Printing, no. So, government clarified over here that whenever you tell someone to do printing for you, he is principally giving you printing, service, paper, ink, etc. is ancillary. And hence, if supposingly my printer charged me 10 lakh, what rate of GST you will apply? Why 12? Because that is printing services. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead? For an example, if I tell you here, paper pay rate is 18%, printing pay rate is 18, paper pay rate is 12%, then what rate will apply? And you know what? Whenever I get my book printed from a printer, actually this is the case. Paper pay rate is 18, 12. Printing pay rate is 18. When he prints and gives it to me, on the whole amount, 
he gives me paper ink etc plus he gives me printing service also he gives the bill as printing service he does not say printing separate paper separate is it separate it's a composite supply and he charges me 18 percent because printing per rate is 18 are we clear everyone i'll ask you one more question i told one person i told one person we want envelopes we want envelopes i told him i want 1000 envelope he told okay sir i will send you i told when you are i wanted what everyone envelopes i told i want 1000 envelopes he told okay sir we will send you the envelope i told when you are sending me the envelope no you will see in envelope people get their logo also printed over here so i told him do one thing sir when you send me the envelope he will sell me the envelope envelope is a supply of goods i told can you also print my logo he told okay sir we will do the logo printing and give it to you logo printing is a supply of tell me one thing everyone what is principle over here did i principally wanted printing service or did i principally wanted envelopes do you guys agree with me so in this question if i ask you it is a supply of goods and envelope pay rate of gst is 18 printing pay rate of gst is supposingly okay paper pay rate is 28 envelope is supposingly i'm telling you only for example and logo printing rate is 18 percent now my question what did i principally ask him did i ask him printing or did i ask him envelopes so they are telling is it composite supply everyone Generally, what happens when people get their envelopes, they say, sir, can you print my logo also on the envelope and give it to me? Do you guys agree with me? And hence, can I call this as composite supply? Two or more naturally bundle are envelope with logo printing natural. People get it done. You'll see in our office, many offices you will see, they get their logo printed on the envelopes. Correct, everyone? Or name printed on the envelope. When you give me paper, envelope principally you gave me envelope printing was just a ancillary service which you gave it to me are you guys able to understand and hence we will go ahead and call it a composite supply what rate of gst will apply 28 percent i'll give you one more example i supposingly yes madam your name priyanka i told priyanka i want tissue papers can you give me one packet one uh, one carton of tissue packets can you send she told okay sir we will send you i told Priyanka, wait when you are sending the tissue paper no on the tissue paper print my logo also have you seen tissue papers in uh, stores etc there will be logos also Array, when you go to hotel and all on the tissue printing will be done and given tell me one thing Priyanka, when she supplies me the tissue paper is she supplying me tissue paper or is she supplying me printing service <laughs> Principally what it is. She is giving me printing service also. But mainly what is she giving me? Printing is ancillary. And hence we will go ahead and call it a supply of service or supply of goods. And what rate will apply? 28. So the whole contract will be called a supply of goods. And what rate will apply? In this question, in this, the whole contract will be called a supply of goods or supply of service. And what rate will apply? 18 percent is my point clear to all can i go ahead everyone i'll tell you one more example a listen no baba i told for an example priyanka that priyanka for our office we wanted like this cups like this we want cups for our office okay paper cups we want we want 1000 paper cups for our office okay so you supply me what everyone paper cups she was about to send it. I told you do one thing. Plus, you print our logo also on this. Plus logo. Printing also you do on the paper cup and then give it to us. Printing logo is a supply of service. Paper cup is a supply of goods. Here rate of GST is 18. Here rate of GST is 12. Can you tell me what is she principally give? She is giving me both. But my question is, is it a composite supply? Yes. Paper cup, supplying paper cup with printing logo on it it is a natural bundle and what is principal over here what is ancillary service this is also supply but this is ancillary what is main supply paper cup and hence this whole contract will become supply of goods ka contract and what rate will apply when she is giving me the bill what rate of gstc will charge 18 percent 
Are we clear, everyone? Did you guys understand this or have a doubt? Okay. In case of printing of books, where content is supplied by the person who owns the IPR, I make the content of my book, chart book, for an example. I gave it to the printer. He printed what? He printed the content. While physical input like paper belongs to the printer, then it's always a printing service, supply of service. Supplying of printed envelope, letter card, tissues with logo, design of the recipient. I told you to supply me tissue paper, envelope with my logo. You are giving me goods or you are giving me service? Supply of goods. Did you guys get one and two? Please see and tell me. Baba, no, no, no. It's not like that you want a break. First see and tell me if you guys are clear. Is everyone 100% clear? Sure. Hello. Can we take a quick break, everyone? Let's take a quick break. Once we come back from the break, we'll resume our discussion. Let's take a break.